So to make it look like the bag of hot Cheetos is falling onto the cake, I dumped out all of the Cheetos which left me with this empty bag and then I used this support using clear piping gel to keep the bag in place. Then I just stick that into the cake. I bagged up some red buttercream and piped to cover that white straw. Then I grabbed some of the hot Cheetos that I had emptied out and just place over that red buttercream. For the next detail of the cake, I thought how cool would it be to pipe some buttercream on top. But I didn't want to do it in just plain red, so I bagged up my orange, yellow, and red buttercream, keeping them separate, of course, while I bag up using a 1M piping tip. And I just make these piped swirls all along the top of the cake. They reminded me of flames, so I loved how they turned out. This Flame and Hot movie was so inspirational. I don't want to spoil anything, but I knew I really wanted to add this next detail. Richard Montañez, the original creator of the Hot Cheeto, says that before there was ever a cheetah on the bag, there was actually a Mexican. He drew this little sketch for the first bags that he ever made. I loved that so much, so I just wanted to pay a little homage to that. Next, I usually add a birthday name or 